laundry basket, Gray. Are you a pet in the pet store? Oh, is it a doggy? Is it doggy Grayson? Woof, woof, woof. Doggy Grayson. You can call me whatever you like. I'll call you Spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have a kitty. Kitty Porter. Yeah. Woof, woof, woof. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have a dog and a cat now. Yeah. And I've got an Avery. And I have an ivy. Too good, call me. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Mr. Whiskers. What? <laughs> no, no. Porter, what is today? His last day of school. His last day of school. His last day of school. Last day of preschool. What does that mean after today? Um, Summer break. Summer. Is it your last day of school, Grayson? Nope. No. When's your last day? Friday. No, it's a week from today. Friday. Next Friday. Thursday is your last day of school. <laughs> so Porter gets out a week early because it's preschool and they always get out early and they start late too. But Grayson goes to the big kid's school so he's got one more week and then we're on summer break. Does, doesn't feel like summer right now because it's like 50 degrees outside, but it's supposed to get up to 80 today, so we might have to change into shorts. So guess today is Porter's last day of preschool. He went on Tuesday and they did superheroes in snow cones and he wore a Spider-Man costume that he decided last minute he wanted to be Spider-Man, so we had to like Amazon Prime something last minute overnight to our house. He had fun then, and then today I think it's just like a last day, like hurrah party. And this is it, and then Porter will be done with his first year of preschool. As I said before, Porter's going to do three years of preschool because he has his September birthday. Technically, he didn't even have to do this year of preschool. I just did because he was potty trained, and why not? Next year, he would go three days a week to preschool. This year, he just did two days. And then next year, Grayson is going to be a big first grader. So Allison and I have already started making, my sister Allison and I have already started making our bucket list of things we want to do and with all I'm the kids this summer. And I'm going to make mine after this vlog. Okay. After school, Grayson's going to make his own bucket list, I guess. So we're going to have a busy, busy summer. Anthony and I have a vacation that we're going to take. We've got some camps for Gray. Baseball goes to the end of June, so we're going to stay somewhat busy, but also enjoy summer. Well, you can't wear it to school because it's not superhero day anymore. We can wear it when you come home, though. Is that your Spider-Man costume? Yeah, I like it. Ma, 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 Avery says. No school for Avery. No school for Avery? No, nope, she's too little. So we just took a couple pictures outside. I'll input those here. I have to do the yearly pictures. And then I love putting the end of the year pictures next to the beginning of the year. When Porter started preschool, he was two years old. So as you can see in the picture, he looks so different. Like, he looks like a different... I mean, he doesn't... He looks like the same kid, but, like, you can tell he has gotten older like his face has changed it's not like a baby face as much so i love doing those pictures hey guys so i dropped off porter at school and i'm just honestly relishing in the quietness of my home right now because i probably won't get to experience this until september <laughs> <laughs> when all the kids are back in school. Grayson is at school right now, Porter's at school right now, and then I have both babies, Avery and Ivy, napping upstairs right now. So it is quiet. I need to do the dishes, but I'm just sitting and enjoying my coffee for a couple minutes, and then I'll get back to work. But it's like bittersweet. I'm excited for summer, not having to drive Porter to and from school twice a week, every week. My sister, um has one more week and then she'll be done so then i'll be done babysitting ivy and we'll have like a whole bucket list of summer things to do so that's what i'm excited for 
but it's bitter because I like the schedule of school and it's nice having Porter busy and um, entertained because uh, some mornings I'm just like, you need to go to school. <laughs> Give me a little sassy. So just trying to enjoy what little time I have left of the quietness and then it'll be a little crazy here. Um, Gray starts back up August 15th. So that seems early to me, early August. But then Porter, since he's in preschool, he doesn't start till after Labor Day. So his is like the first week of September. So it'll be a little bit. And because of um, Avery and physical therapy right now through Help Me Grow, she did qualify for a school and they have like therapists there that will help catch her up. Um, and so we put our application in for her to do that. And so she would start that in September. Um, the PT was telling me that we'll hear in July if she gets accepted or not. So hopefully she gets in. But if that happens, then I will have all three kids in some type of school so that might be a little crazy but we're just gonna enjoy the summer we got all the summer toys out the other day the only thing we have to get out still is the pool it's gonna slowly starting to warm up it's been a really cold spring um, but it seems like it's finally gonna start getting warm and we have a super busy day i already did like the photo shoot with porter and drop off and all that i gotta go pick porter up in a little bit then I have a dentist appointment. It's been a month of the dentist and I'm so over it. I hate the dentist in the first place. I went a month ago for the first time in like three years, two or three years. So bad, I know. But I finally went and they realized that I need to get a crown because I had fillings on my one tooth and then like a cavity got behind the fillings. The fillings were just old and they couldn't put new fillings in, so they just decided to do a crown. I'd never done a crown before, and it's horrible. I do not recommend getting a crown if you can avoid it. It's expensive, and it's a lot. It's just a lot. I went, and I was there for like over two and a half hours. This dentist place is very slow, and they like basically ground down most of my tooth, and then they put a temporary tooth on, so that's what I have right now. And then I had to wait three weeks for the permanent crown to come in. And so now I'm going back today, three weeks later, and they're gonna put the permanent crown on and then I will be done with this whole process. So hopefully this is the first and only crown that I ever have to get. Probably won't because I have horrible teeth, but I can hope. Um, I've had a lot of pain with my teeth ever since I had that um, procedure though. My gums were inflamed for like a week. And then my bite has been kind of off, but I haven't had time to go back in to get them to fix it. So that's been kind of like messing me up. So basically I've been taking like ibuprofen several times a day um, for weeks. And then um, like as the weeks went on, I've had to take the ibuprofen less and less and less. And then finally, like today I haven't taken ibuprofen at all, which of course is when I go back in and now they're gonna mess it all up and who knows how it's gonna feel. So that's just been, a mess but then i should be done with the dentist after this so my mom is going to come over and watch the kids for me while i get this done then i'll come back then grayson has his last soccer practice today he actually has baseball at the same time too but we're just going to do soccer instead of baseball soccer starts later so it's easier to get to and baseball goes till the end of june soccer it's done on saturday so we're just going to finish it out so we have that so it's just a really busy day. On top of that, I'm doing like dishes. A porter like peed the bed last night. I'm trying to get him off of pull-ups. So I'm doing laundry. And then of course I'm watching my niece Ivy on top of all the kids. So it's just been a really crazy week. It's been a lot of work with my part-time job. So that's just been keeping me busy. And then of course, like any chance we get, Anthony and I are outside working on our front step. It's almost, almost finished. We've had a lot of rainy days lately. So we haven't been able to get out there. We're hoping to get out there today or this weekend and hopefully we can finish it. We just gotta sand down some bricks and put it on a new plank or something like that. I don't know, Anthony knows, and paint it. So we're almost done with that. Um, and then we'll probably move on to our next project. We gotta like build a shed or we got like this storage unit for Christmas that we need to build. We put down mulch, but it wasn't enough mulch. So I'm waiting for the mulch to go back on sale. I read online that Lowe's is doing their, um, like buy one get one mulch 
for Memorial Day weekend and that's like next weekend. So I'm waiting for that sale to go on so we can get more mulch. We are working on our grass and trying to get that like figured out and the right fertilizer. And I don't know, that's kind of like Anthony's wheelhouse. So there's always some project to work on. Uh, but I would also like to go on some more family walks. We haven't gone on a family walk to the park in weeks because we've just been so busy. Um, but last summer we did that like all the time. So I'm hoping to do that this summer too. We're just trying to grind out all of these projects and then hopefully we can get to the fun part of summer. <laughs> last summer it was a lot better because Anthony had his paternity leave for three weeks. Like the whole month of June he took off. So we don't have that this year unfortunately, but he still works home from home like three days a week those days he can get off of work and then we can just go right into like playing outside and doing fun stuff so it'll be a fun summer i'm excited for it but definitely bittersweet seeing um porter have his last day of school he is excited he's been counting down since like a month ago like he is ready for summer he's not my one that loves school that's grayson grayson loves school porter's like eh, i could take it or leave it I mean he is young like I said we did put him in when he was like two now he's like three and a half so we did put him in a year early so hopefully he'll learn to love school because he's got a lot more school ahead of him <laughs> all right Porter is home from school what does that mean Porter summer summer Porter is now officially on summer break no nope, Grayson still has a week to go I'm just sitting here giving Ivy some lunch. She's having some apple. Yum, yum. Avery is playing with some toys. And this is all the things that Porter brought home. He made a ladybug. They read the grumpy ladybug or the grouchy ladybug. And he made a firefly jar. And it looks like he colored some ice cream and colored a summer fun worksheet and then this i remember grayson made this when he was in the turtle class this is porter's alphabet book throughout the year they learned all the letters and decorated the them alphabet book. should we open it like mm -hmm. there's porter and me this was on orientation back in september or maybe it was august look how little you were you were two uh -huh. now you're three Oh, ooh, A is for apple. B is for bat. No, wait, wait, wait. I okay. Yeah, so I still have Grayson's alphabet book. It's up in his closet. These things are just Bowie. so cute. Bowie. C is for cotton ball. Oops, skip D. Where is it? D is for dot. Got Grayson's soccer practice. It's kids versus parents. And there's Daddy and Porter playing basketball with a soccer ball. Hey. Hey. And there's Grayson in the red shirt. Why are you clicking my phone? It's like so beautiful out. <laughs> Go Grayson.